Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. I'm back on the A250 and I'm going to show you how to put the motor in and some unique features about it. And let me, let me show you. The, the horns were faux painted on these and they come apart in the center just like a Signet Horn Edison outside cylinder player. And they were faux painted oak or mahogany depending on the wood you had. This one's a mahogany, so it was faux painted mahogany. So I'll show you the, the difference. The first thing is, on regular Edison's, you have this spring underneath. So when you're not in the plane position and the horn moves, it has this little bit of tension on the horn. Which horn? This. This is the tensioner that runs on the back piece of a, a metal on it, and you can fine tune it here. Also, this is where the motor rests, and it's adjustable so you can level it and then it hits in this slot and in this slot here. The lift lever is in its own casting right here. So it's not going through the motor board also. And then down here, you can see the lock on the horn right here. But they also had a screw to hold everything together right there. And this was all faux painted by the factory. It's very, very interesting. And the tensioner, for the tracking device is completely different and really well made. And you can see how robust this piece of metal is that holds the tracking on the horn. This is much wider than normal. They're wonderful, beautiful machines. So let me see if I can stab this in there. And one thing I forgot, they have a little chrome plated piece here for the governor you don't want the oil spreading all over your mouth yeah this is well i'm at nickel plated and then the gear here has a cover on it because you don't want oil dripping on your beautiful phonograph and these things weigh a ton so you're going to come in come under there and you're going to put that one in And that's how they fit in. Well, you did it's hard. It's hard to do. Trust me. These things isn't like boom, you know, this forty-pound phonograph motor. Now I'll just reset the height and everything like regular Edison diamond discs. Rebuild the, the reproducer, and we'll be ready to rock and roll for another forty years. And that's my tip for the day.